Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to get the new automatic updates feature in Ubermenu setup. So the automatic update capability was added in Ubermenu 3.2.1, however it is disabled by default so that we can test it out with a smaller user set before scaling to all users. So if you're now updating to Ubermenu 3.2.2 or later, you can enable and beta test this feature by adding a constant in your wp-config.php. So first let's go over what happens if you try to update without enabling this feature. Um, so here we are on this site, we're running uh, 3.2.1 as you can see here. Um, if we look at the update notification uh, details, you can see that it tells us uh, we need to install this manually um, because updates are not, or automatic updates aren't uh, currently enabled. and. Uh, it also links you to the instructions to get automatic updates set up, which is what we're going to be going over in this video. So if you click on this link, um, it'll bring you to the page uh, that describes all the steps we're going to go through. Okay, but let's just show you what happens if we try to just update this right now without doing uh, any of these steps. We'll go to the updates page. Uh, you'll see that there is an update for Uber menu because we're on 3.2.1 and 3.2.2 is available. So we'll click that, we'll click update plugins, and you'll see we'll get this message, an error occurred while updating to Uber menu 3, update package not available. And that makes sense because there just aren't update uh, automatic update packages available uh, currently. So let's walk through setting up the automatic updates beta testing. Um, this article has everything you need to do step by step, and I'll link to it in the video, but as I mentioned, it's also linked to in the um, uh, update notification notes. Uh, when you get an update notification, there will be a link there so you can go right to this. All right, so the first thing that we need to do is check our version. Um, this will only work if you're already running Ubermenu 3.2.1 or later. If you're running a version earlier than that, then you, you need to use a manual update because it, this just isn't included in that older version. Um, so you'll go to your, you can either go to the Uber menu control panel and it'll show you the version right here. You can see we're running 3.2.1 or if you go to the um, updates screen, it'll show you you have version 3.2.1 installed. So if this is an earlier version, like 3.2.0.2 .2 or something like that, 3.1, um, any of those you would need to uh, follow the manual update instructions, which are linked here. Follow the update instructions, okay? All right, so once we've made sure we're running at least 3.2.1, uh, the next step is to make sure that you take a backup. I've not encountered any issues testing these automatic updates on a whole bunch of different sites, um, but it's only been tested on a relatively small number at this point. Uh, once we're running at scale, we may encounter unforeseen issues. So be sure that you can easily revert just in case anything goes wrong. Um, if you have a quality host like WP Engine or something like that, uh, you should be able to do this with one click. It, you know, it's really easy. Um, so you know, check and see if your host offers that. Uh, for example, on WP Engine, all I have to do is come in here, go to Backup Points, and click Backup Now, and you know, I give it a, a description, and it's just done, and I can always revert to one of these earlier backup points if I need to. So hopefully your host offers something easy like that. Otherwise, there's a variety of plugins that allow you to do super simple backups. Um, so make sure you do that beforehand just in case. Of course, you should always run a backup uh, before you update anything in WordPress, whether it's WordPress itself or plugins or themes, uh, just in case the new update doesn't work well with your system so you can easily revert. And of course, you should also always be testing your updates on a staging site before pushing them to your live site to make sure that if something doesn't work well, uh, it's not all of a sudden uh, pushed live to your users with, uh, by mistake. Okay, step three has to do with making sure that your custom assets are backed up. So that means if you've created a custom.css or a custom.js file, you just it, and have put them in the Uber menu plugin directory, you just want to make sure that they're properly backed up. So if we go to the Uber menu control panel and click on the updates tab, 
Uh, by the way, the styles here are going to look a little bit wonky until you update to the latest version if you're running WordPress 4.4 because WordPress 4.4 changed a bunch of styles in the admin. Um, so you need to take a look here and make sure that your backups are available properly. So first you need to have backup custom assets checked. This is checked off by default, so unless you uncheck this, it shouldn't be a problem. And then take a look at your automatic backups status. Uh, right now you'll see that there's an error. Uh, automatic backups are not available. Now, this is a very, very rare thing. It would only generally occur if the permissions on your server are not set up properly. Um, so I've deliberately messed up the permissions now just so you can see what the error looks like. Um, but in the vast majority of cases, if your server is configured properly, this will not be an issue. So I'll just switch that back to uh, the proper permissions quickly. And then... Now you'll see the backups are available and working properly. It says custom.css backup is available. And if you want to just make a manual backup of that just in case, uh, you can click this button and it will download it. Um, this is backed up in your uh, WP uploads directory. I'm sorry, WP content slash uploads directory. Um, just so that when you update the plugin, you make sure you have a backup of it beforehand. And once you update, Ubermenu will try to restore this automatically, but in case it doesn't restore automatically, you still have a copy of it uh, that you can always download and restore manually. Also note that Ubermenu doesn't back up any other customizations besides custom.css and custom.js. So if you've made any other changes, like adding any other files in the custom directory or changing anything in the, uh, in the main plugin directory, which you should never do, you should only ever edit anything inside the custom directory, um, then you need to back those up yourselves, yourself. But you really shouldn't be editing anything else in there anyway. Um, and of course, if you have not created any custom style sheets or scripts, uh, you can just skip this step entirely. All right, so the next step, if you haven't already, is to add your Code Canyon username and purchase code um, in this same updates tab. At this point, you don't actually need to enter an API key, but uh, we may end up needing it in the future, so it's, it's there just in case. Uh, but you can leave that blank for now if you'd like. So the Code Canyon username has to be the username that you used to purchase the plugin in the first place. And the purchase code is obviously uh, the purchase code that you received when you purchased the plugin. So there are two ways to get the purchase code if you're not sure what it is. Uh, the first is to go to your downloads page on Code Canyon. That's just codecanyon.net slash downloads. Or go to your um, uh, drop down here and click on downloads. This will show you all the files that you've purchased uh, from Envato. And you find Uber menu here and click on download and it'll give you the option to download the license certificate and purchase code. And the light, the purchase code is listed uh, in that and you can just copy and paste it. The other way to do it is just go to Uber menu. Uh, and if you, this is the Uber menu product page. And if you click on the support tab and then scroll down to the bottom, uh, down here, you will see your purchase code listed. Obviously, I haven't purchased this, so it doesn't show it for me, but if you've made a purchase and you're logged into your account, it'll show up right down here. Okay, so once you've got your uh, username and purchase code entered, we can move on to the next step. All right, now that we've got all that pre-setup stuff out of the way, we can actually enable the automatic updates. And we do this by dropping this line of code into our wpconfig.php. All right, so in your WordPress installation, you probably need to, um, to FTP up to your server uh, um, to get access to this file and edit it. Or if you're editing locally, uh, you can do it right on, your, uh, right on your file system. So you just have to paste this line of code in here. Um, if you're wondering where to put it, uh, it should be just before this, that's all, stop editing, happy blogging line. So really any place before there is fine, but generally you put your... Uh, your customizations, your custom uh, declarations here uh, after the default WordPress stuff and uh, before this line. All right, so once you do that, obviously save your changes and FTP them back up to the server uh, if you are if you need to do that. And this just tells us this, this tells Ubermenu, okay, we're gonna try the automatic updates. Uh, so now finally, we'll just check for updates again. So if we come back to our Oops. To our updates panel. All 
All right, and at this point, we should be able to update just like any other plugin in the repository. So we just uh, check that we want to update Uber menu. It says that there's a 3.2.2 update available. We click update plugins. And this time you'll see that instead of getting an error, it says the WordPress mega menu plugin was successfully updated. All right, and then we can go back to our control panel just to check that everything worked properly. You can see we're now at version 3.2.2. By the way, if after updating for some reason your custom files didn't get automatically restored, uh, so like if you're missing your custom.css or custom.js, uh, assuming your backup uh, was previously made, try just going to your plugins panel and deactivating and then reactivating the plugin uh, immediate in succession and immediate succession and that should trigger the restore process if for some reason it didn't run uh, when you ran the automatic update all right that's about it that's how you can beta test the new automatic updates feature in uber menu if you do run into any issues uh, just click on the support button in the upper right corner of your uber menu control panel and that'll bring you to the support center where you can submit a ticket and uh, ask any questions you have all right enjoy thanks